So this is the new Flux, right? But this is not the original Flux. This is Flux NF4. And what's different is this runs on your potato PC. So to put that into perspective, the regular Flux dev takes about 50 seconds to run on my machine on a G uh, RTX 4090. This takes 14 seconds to run. And you can see, well, actually here, the last two generations took 13 seconds. So that's a massive difference. And you basically only need to do one thing, and that is to load the Flux Dev NF4 model. But how, Seb, how do I do that? Well, you gotta update your Comfy, right? So go into your manager, update Comfy UI, or update all if you wanna update the custom nodes as well. You're gonna use the regular Flux workflow that you already have. If you don't have that, you can check the link in the description. You can check my previous video on how to get started with Flux in Comfy. This Flux NF4 also works in Forge. So that's cool for you Forge users out there. Now, in regard to this, the only, needs, the only thing you need to change is you need to have a different checkpoint loader. So after you did the update, you restarted, you refreshed your browser, you can go in here and you can go checkpoint loader NF4 or just NF4, you know, get it quicker, right? And replace the model loader that you have with this one. Now I already did that, obviously. Make sure you use, uh, connect the, the model, the clip and the VAE into uh, the pieces or uh, nodes that were connected previously. The model goes in this one, the model sampling flux. The clip goes into your prompt and the VE, VAE, well, doesn't go anywhere really because we're using the old AE.SFTVAE. Can you load this VAE? Well, if you do and you run this, actually, it works. And if we set this, uh, let's set this to fixed actually. So make sure that we are getting the same result here. Now we're running the built-in VAE in the NF4 model. And if you're using the other VE, AE.SafeTensor or .SFT, well, it's basically the, the same thing, right? So in this prompt, we have a cyberpunk photo of face close-up. Great grammar there by me. The text flux is tattooed on the woman's cheek. She has blue hair and sunglasses with a pink and yellow tint. Speaking of grammar, should actually be a little one of those there as well. You can follow the guide that I um, put up here. This is from 2nd of August, so that's a while ago. So this was from for the original Flux. Uh, the workflow you can download here. I'm just, I'm gonna put also this new workflow uh, that should be able, here's a Flux Dev workflow. I'll put a second one here. That's called the Flux NF4 workflow. The basic, what you're doing, right, is these steps. You're downloading the model through so going to this link. We're pressing download here. We're going into our models folder and then checkpoint. So not unit this time, checkpoint, drop that in here. Then you need to go into your custom nodes folder or into your manager and find the NF4 bits and bytes custom node. So if you can find that in the manager, great. If not, you can also install via git URL like that. Oops, well then you just need the URL, right? You also have the option of going into your, let's see, custom nodes folder and up here type cmd and then you can copy paste that git clone, press enter. I already have that, so it doesn't work, but let's say that we rename this and then we do that again. So let's pretend that I don't have it and now we do that again and now you see you cloning into that then you can go into that folder which would be comfy ui bits and bytes and we need to pip install dash r requirements.txt then I'm gonna install all the requirements that you need after that restart your comfy load them all into your checkpoint loader nf4 node so uh, you can either quit your comfy by pressing here and restart it or you can do it from the manager restart on this little button here right sometimes when you restart like this or you need to actually refresh your browser by pressing ctrl r or this little refresh button up here then you should be able to get your loader nf4 and then you can generate whatever you want like this what do you call an alligator in a vest an investigator so here we have a generation from flux nf4 a cartoon of an alligator standing up dressed in a vest and is holding a magnifying glass similar to Sherlock Holmes. Title above reads, what do you call an alligator in a vest? Title below reads, 
an investigator. Actually, this was the first generation I did of this. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. We got a little extra mark up there. So, I don't know what's going on there. But apart from that, it's a little cartoon. I'm fairly happy with that. So, why would you use NF4? Well, the results are fantastic. I'm just doing a ge random generation here, non cherry pick, beautiful fantasy landscape, epic environment, magic castle. And you can see this is a live rendering coming out right now in a 16 by 9 ratio. So 1344 by 768. And I mean, I have to say this looks pretty good. So you're getting sort of the, the quality that you get from the regular Flux dev. It's not 100%, obviously, but it's with the speed and the VRAM requirements you are getting so much right it's 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 really really good so just for, for the speed and for the I don't know, not ease of use but for the amount of people that can use it i would i would say go for flux nf4 it's just amazing right and i mean i can even do let's do 1920 well not 1080 but 1088 so this is actually a full hd resolution image and obviously it's going to be a little slower but just look at this this is coming in live right now and you would expect oh you know almost 2000 by 1000 pixel that's going to take three hours this is live right now this is crazy and this is a new flux mode this isn't like sd 1.5 that's already optimized fine tuned and whatnot this is flux you can do that with text. You can get some hands out of that. 1920 by 1080. That's wild. Are you not blown away? Because I am. We can even do woman lying on grass. Let's try that. Maybe do it in... Well, let's keep this one. Let's see. And again, this is a live render. We are not speeding this up. Uh, I'm actually just getting the head, which is um, sad. I'd hope to get the whole body. But, you know, I'm not going to cherry pick. I think we're going to be happy with that for now. I mean, with SD3, we couldn't even get this. So the limbs seem to be there and in the correct position. That arm might be a little thin, but let's see once it's finished. Uh, you know, I would probably generate that again. But, you know, close enough. So get your Flux and a 4 in. Comfy, Forge, whatever you want. Cute Pixar style cartoon of alpaca. Yeah. Title above reads Wanna go on a picnic? Title below reads Alpaca lunch. Let's see this generate here at 1408 by 1408. We're getting a alpaca. Seems to be doing fairly well. This is a large generation here, right? Uh, this is actually, I found this little spreadsheet by a user called Aplaka on Reddit. And he or she found out that uh, the devs had said that Flux can do 2 megapixels maximum. And, well, they got the data and uh, put it in a little table. So that's great. And here we have our Alpaca. Want to go on a picnic? Alpaca lunch. Boom. Mic drop.